So now let's talk about Radix. If you've seen the news, we recently acquired modules and they built a product that allowed users to create interfaces on it and export them as components. So similar to probably seen with Figma and others. Now, while they were building this product, they also built two powerful open source libraries. And one of them is Radix. Now, what is Radix? This isn't uh, a set of components that are unstyled and you can use them to create your own uh, apps. And the idea here is that you have that accessibility foundation that is really hard to build yourself, but they provide that entire layer for you. So you don't need to worry about it. Those components are made in React, so you can use um, use that to, to build your apps. So what is interesting about Radix is that this is a project that has more than 4 million downloads every month, and it allows like B2B apps to create their own apps in a way that is extremely performant and extremely accessible. Now, we have many co companies already using Radix in production, like Vercel, Linear, Superbase, Code Sandbox, LiveBlog, Spaceman, and, and WorkOS itself, right? Like we, we adopted uh, Radix years ago and we have been using uh, this project for a while. So we're super excited to be able to work with that team directly and support that open source work. So I'm going to uh, hand it over now to Com, and he's going to demo and talk a little bit more about Radix and how you can use in your own project. Hey everyone, I'm Colm, co-founder of Modules, which was just recently acquired by WorkOS. So I'm very happy to be here today for my first WorkOS customer event. At Modules, we built a lot of cool tech, but one of the products that I'm most excited about, which I'm going to show you today, is called Radix. There are three open source products in the Radix suite. Radix Icons is a set of over 250 user interface icons designed at 15 pixels with a one pixel stroke for maximum legibility across screen resolutions. Radix Icons are available as SVGs or React components. Radix Colors is a library of accessible color scales across 30 different hues, metallics and grays. Each scale contains 12 steps and the trick is each step is designed for a specific use case like background, border, low contrast text, or high contrast text. So all of your colors are guaranteed to pass accessible contrast ratios. And you get dark mode automatically. All you need to do is add a class to the body element. But the flagship product in the Radix suite is Radix Primitives. Radix Primitives is a library of accessible UI components for building high quality design systems and web apps in React. There are 26 components available, all free and open source, including dialogue, drop down menu, popover, slider, tabs, accordion menu, and many more. To give you a better idea of how Radix primitives can help you, let me show you some quick demos. So this is an example of Radix drop down menu. And as with all Radix components, um, the drop down is completely unstyled out of the box. So you can see all of these styles here are custom. I'm using Stitches, CSS and JS library for styling here, but you're free to use any styling solution that you prefer, whether that's vanilla CSS or Tailwind or style components or something else. And up here, I'm using CSS keyframes for animation. But again, Radix is compatible with animation libraries like Frame or Motion, so you can use those if you prefer. So let me show you some of the features of Radix drop-down menu. Let's start with keyboard interactions. So um, Radix drop -down menu opens with spacebar and opens with enter key. And when you press escape, it closes and you can see that the focus is automatically returned to the trigger element. Up and down arrow keys move focus across menu items until you reach the end. And when you do reach the end, if you would prefer that focus loops back to the first menu item, you just need to set the loop prop to true on the content part. And of course, you get a nice autocomplete experience on props. There are options available for alignment and offset. So by default, the menu is center aligned with the trigger, but you could choose to align it at the start or the end if you prefer. Another really cool feature is the arrow part. You can see the little arrow here pointing towards the trigger. 
But if you don't want that arrow, all you need to do is remove the part and it won't render and Radix automatically handles all of the positioning for you. Submenus are supported. Um, so they open and close both with the by hovering with the pointer device or by using the left and right arrow keys. To implement a submenu, all you need to do is nest one menu inside another. So menus can be infinitely nested. So you can see here I've added another submenu. And again, Radix handles all of the position and collisions for you. So there's not enough space here to render the submenu over on the right side. So it automatically renders on the left. But probably my favorite feature of Radix dropdown menu, which is often overlooked on the web, um, is type ahead support. So if I, when the menu is open, if I press N, it automatically focuses the first menu item beginning with the letter N. And same again if I press S and so forth if I press C. And if two menu items begin with the same letter, then pressing that key will toggle between those two menu items. And last but not least, um, we've also implemented screen reader support and we've tested the components across multiple screen readers to ensure a good experience for as many people as we possibly can. So that's a quick demo of Radix drop-down menu. Our goal with Radix primitives is to handle as many of the accessibility concerns as we can, but to get out of your way as much as possible when it comes to styling, so you can handle that end of things. So all you need to do is to install a component, import its parts, and style them however you want. We launched Radix a little over a year ago now, and it's been doing incredibly well so far. It's doing over 4.5 million NPM downloads per month, and it's used in production by hundreds of teams, including Vercel, Superbase, Linear, and of course, WorkOS. Um, we've also got a bunch of case studies listed on our website, radix-ui.com, where you can read about how we've helped companies improve their UIs. And of course, if you need a little help getting started, we've also got the Radix Discord server, with about 3,000 members where you can ask questions and usually get help pretty quickly. So that's a quick overview of Radix. Again, all libraries are free and open source. So if you're building a new product feature or you want to improve accessibility in your design system, give them a shot and let us know how you get on. Back over to Xeno. And that's Radix. It's a set of unstyled primitives that you can use to build web apps. It's also a React library that you can use to augment your design system. And on top of all this, it's also an icon library and a color system that you can leverage to accelerate your development.